Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's workout. We're going to get started with our two minute warm up. Keep your hand weights close by. You'll need them for round one. Let's get right into it. Hands on the midsection, drawing the knees up towards the belly button. Pull yourself up through the crown of the head. Nice, long, tall torso. Let's set our form right at the start of the workout. Brace the abs and let this whole midsection hold up your torso. All right, guys, let's turn it into an arm pull as the knees come up and really pull the arms down. Focus on squeezing those shoulder blades together so you're not just flopping them up and down. But we're gonna warm up the upper and the lower body at the same time, easing ourselves into it. Let's turn it into knee to elbow. So guys, entire workout is low impact, high impact options if you choose, but regardless high or low impact, you're still gonna get high intensity. All right guys, let's turn it into a pull down and a butt kick. So stay right here if you wanna keep it low impact and really reach up and kick that butt or you can turn it into a jog as you pull those arms down. Don't forget your form. Back up straight, pull yourself up through the crown of the head and support this long, tall torso using your core. A few more seconds, three, two, and one. Nice wide stance, feet facing out the corner of the room. Squat it down and squeeze it up. Squeeze those cheeks, remember, Booty's going back like someone's pulling you back on a horizontal track. The back comes forward, nice and flat and long. Squeeze it up. Drive up through the heels and squeeze that booty for three, two, and one. Shuffle on the spot, guys. I'm going to show you the first move. Hand weights, keep them close by. You won't need them for exercise one. You're going to crouch down, stand, and do two side raises and then option for two star jumps and back to two side raises. When you do the side raise, hips aren't opening up, they're facing forward, footies flex, and feel the side booty engage. Let's start. Squat it down, side raise, side raise. Now keep with the side raise or add two star jumps. Back to the side raise, stand and squeeze. Option to insert two star jumps. Otherwise, Keep with your stand and squeeze. Let's get one more in there. Well done, guys. Rest and watch. Hand weights out in front. Step right with a kettlebell swing. Step left, and then option to jump to. Here we go, step right, step left. I'm gonna jump the next two, otherwise keep stepping right and left. And then back to right and left. You can keep the jump and jump every single one with this the swing or step into it. All right, half one. Wide stance, feet facing the corner of the room. We're going to come into a side lunge and alternate. Tricep extension. Okay, start right. Side lunge with the tricep extension. Push from side to side into these deep side lunges. Squeeze and hold the tricep at the top of the move. Back is nice and long and flat. Keep the abs engaged. Well done, guys. Keep this wide stance. Let the dumbbells hang. Squat down. Raise one knee and the other. And then we're gonna jump for two as an option. Here we go. Raise one knee and the other. Keep the knee raises or add two jumps. Then back to the knee raises. Add two jumps. Jump the whole time if you like or stick with the knee raises the whole time. But come nice and low. <sighs> Got you out of one. Guys, crouch down. Stand with a reverse fly and a glute lift on this left leg. Crouch down, stand and lift, reverse fly. <sighs> and then leg lift of your left leg. Stand and squeeze that glute or just tap the foot back if you prefer. Back is nice and long. Squeeze shoulder blades. Whew, switching sides. So crouch down. Stand and squeeze the shoulder blades and let this glute give you a leg lift. Here we go. Crouch down and then stand and squeeze. If it's too much, balancing on one leg. Focus on reverse fly and just tap that foot. Squeeze the glute up. Keep the hips parallel, facing the front. All right, guys. 
a little wider than shoulder distance. Squat down. Just your left hand and your left leg are going to pivot. Here we go. Squat it down. Pivot it up. So you're pivoting the dumbbell over your right shoulder in an arc. And then bring your left elbow next to your left hip. And then pivot it up. Switching sides. So squatting it down and pivoting the pivoting it up on an arc really stretch it up here we go squat it down pivot we're working our core we're working our lower body and we're working your shoulder let's go guys sit back into that squat feels like a rest working multiple body parts keep the abs engaged well done guys one down one hand weight for round two, rest and watch. Squat down, reach up and step over something imaginary. If you like, you can jump over. I'm gonna do one step back and forth and one jump. Here we go. Reach down, step it up and over and back. I'm gonna jump these next two and then back to the step. Stick all steps or all jumps. Whatever you prefer, go at your own pace. Two, one, half a one. Feet facing forward, wide stance, lateral raise. Squat it down, side raise of the booty. Here we go. Drop the arm and a side raise. Keep the hips facing forward. Don't open them up. Foot is parallel and flexed. Squeeze and hold using this side glute to lift the leg and hold it. I catch my breath. Switching sides. Squat it down. Stand and squeeze. Foot is flexed. Here we go. Squat. Stand and squeeze. Hold your hand there. Feel this glute engage. Hips facing forward. Don't come so far up that you're tipping over. Keep the torso as vertical as you can. It's just a slight lift of this leg. Two, one. Well done, guys. Rest and watch. Squat, lift the leg to a curtsy, lift the leg. Same concept. Squat with the bicep. Lift the leg to a curtsy, lift it back into a squat. Let this glute lift the leg. Sweep it up and over with the hand on that cheek, feel it engage, squeeze the leg, switching hands, catch my breath, so squat, lift to a rear curtsy, here we go, squat it, engage the glute, and back we go, guys, after this, I think I messed up the, the bicep curl, sorry guys, Come down on the floor. Put your hand weight to one side. Two, one. Hand weight to one side. Into a hand plank. Step forward right and back, left and back. And then option to jump the next two. Here we go. Step and step. Option to intersperse it with a jump. Otherwise, keep this step. I'm gonna do one and one. You can do all jumps or all steps. Go at your own pace. All right, guys. Reverse tabletop. Hands onto shoulders, engage the abs. Lift up into reverse tabletop. Your right leg flex. Dip and a knee pull. Here we go. Dip it, pull the knee, push it out. Pull it in, push it out. Really engage those abs. Think of the abs as you're pulling the knee in and pushing it out. Make sure those elbows are going right back behind you in the dip. Other side. So your left leg is flexed. Make sure when you're coming out of the dip that your chest isn't collapsed. Open it up. Here we go. Dip, open the chest, pull the leg in and out. Push up through the chest as you come out of the dip. A few more guys. Engage those abs 
elbows going back behind you. Three, two, one. Guys, halfway there, grab a drink, grab the rest. We simply repeat rounds one and two. You get a second chance to work those muscles. So we're coming down, we're doing the single leg star, intersperse it with two star jumps if you like. Here we go, down, stand and squeeze, keep the foot flexed. Option, two star jumps. If you're not star jumping, just keep the stand and squeeze. Nothing wrong with that. Make everyone count. Squeeze it, star jump, half one. All right, guys, shoulders back and down, weights out in front, stepping right and left, option to jump two. Here we go, step right, step left, option to jump the next two, and then back to the step. Keep the jump, if you like, or keep the steps. Options for everyone. Let's do one more. Whew. Wide stance. Whew. Tuck the arms up. Push into a side lunge with a tricep extension. Alternating one side to the other. Here we go. Whew. Right and left. Really push all your body weight over into these side lunges. Feels like a rest. Long back. Don't shrug the shoulders. Come on guys, squeeze the tricep. Two, one. Rest and watch. Dumbbells are hanging. Squat, raise one knee and the other. Option to jump for two. Here we go. Squat, stand. Stand, option to jump for two. Back to the stand. Or just keep the squat and stand. Knee raise. Feel it in your inner thighs. I'm gonna stick with knee raise. <sighs> Gotta get my heart rate down. It's hot in here today. All right, guys, tuck. Stand and squeeze. Don't let the hips open up. Tuck it. Squeeze. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Squeeze the glute. If that's too much, just tap it back. <sighs> if you're wobbling, you want to focus on the shoulder blades. Tap the foot. When we're on one foot, we're working the core a bit more. And of course, the standing leg a bit more. Other side. Here we go. Stand and squeeze. This time, your right leg. Keep the torso pivoting forward, not hunched over. A long flight back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Five seconds. Two, one. Feet. A little wider than shoulder distance. Squat and pivot. Really reach up with that arm. Here we go. Squat and pivot. Elbow by the hip. And then deliberately on an arc, push that weight up. Really push out at the top. Sit back into the squat, like the booty's being pulled back. I'm really feeling it today. Says more for my fitness maybe than the workout. Here we go, squat and push. Remember guys, you feel different on different days. Maybe you're stressed and run down. Maybe you didn't sleep well. Just don't be disappointed with yourself if you don't have the same level of energy every day. Just be happy that you've shown up. Okay, guys, rest and watch. Reach down, step up and over, step up and over. Option to jump the next two or keep the step. Get ready, here we go. Reach down, up and over, up and over. Option, jump over, jump over. Back to the step, keep the jump if you like. I'm gonna keep the step because my heart rate's telling me I'm working hard enough today. Two, one. 
I am okay with you guys working out harder than me. Wide stance. Drop it down. Stand and squeeze. Here we go. Down, squeeze. Foot is flexed. Don't open the hips. Get the hips facing forward. Booty goes back. Back is long and flat. Squeeze that glute. Squeeze it. Two, one. Switching sides. Wide stance. Arm facing. Arm lateral. Abs engage. Here we go. Squat. Stand and squeeze. Arms coming up to shoulder height. Last time we're doing it today. Let that arm come all the way forward. Using a long, flat back that's pivoting forward as you squat. All right, guys. Wide stance. Squat with the bicep. Lift that leg into a deep curtsy. Here we go. Squat. Lift it. And lift. Put your hand on this glute and feel it doing the job of lifting and lifting. Really come deep into that curtsy and deep into that squat. Switching sides. Almost there, guys. Bicep with the squat. Bicep, stand and squeeze. Really lift it up and lift it up. Deep into the squat, deep into the curtsy. Knee coming as close to the ground as possible. Squeeze it up and squeeze half one. Guys, hand plank. Step forward right and back, left and back. Option to jump it, right and left for two. Here we go, step it up and back, up and back. Option to jump and back, jump and back. Back to the step. Stick with the jumps or stick with the steps. I am gonna stick with the steps. A few more guys, two, one. All right. On your back, hands underneath your shoulders. Push up, right leg is straight. Dip and pull and push. Here we go, dip it, push up through that chest. Open the chest and then pull the leg in and out. Pull it in, push it out. Dip, push through the chest, in and out. So don't let that chest collapse. A few more guys. Three, two, one. Okay, other leg. I'll show you on this side. So when you come out of the dip, remember, don't let the chest collapse. Push up through the shoulders and open it up. Leg up, dip, pull in, push out. Last exercise of the day. Make everyone can. Pull it in, push it out. Put your focus in your abs, in your core. Elbows go straight back behind you. A few more seconds. Two, one, and done. All right, guys, well done. Grab your mat, step forward. Let's start with your left leg today. Push through this hip, breathe into it. Okay, your right arm comes up, catch it with the left, breathe into this shoulder. Keep pushing through this hip, let all of the oxygen flow down to those muscles. Okay, guys, tuck the toes under at the back, reach the hands up, look through the hands if you'd like. Stand up on those toes or keep the knee on the ground, whatever you prefer. Either way, look up between the hands, reach up to the sky. Bring your right hand down on the inside of your left foot. Knee can go on the ground or it can stay off the ground. Pivot and turn. Look over your left shoulder, up towards your left hand. Hands come back down on either side of the foot. Lower that back knee if you've got it up. Push back, flex your left foot and come down with the flat back as far as you're comfortable. Pat, tap this hamstring, breathe into it. Switching sides, other leg forward, press through. Open up this hip, feel the oxygen going in there. Your left arm comes up, catch it with the right. Breathe into the shoulder. Tuck the back toes under, hands come up, 
Look between the hands if you like. Raise that back knee off the ground and straighten the leg. Or keep the knee down. Whatever you're comfortable doing, you're still gonna feel the greatest stretch in this hip. Your left hand comes down on the inside of the right foot. Pivot and look over that right shoulder. Back knee can be off the ground with a straight leg or it can be on the ground. Bring both hands down to the outside of your right foot. Put the knee back down, push back. Let's give ourselves a hamstring stretch. Flex this foot, breathe into it. Gently, gently with the stretches. Just come down as far as you need to to feel it. Nice wide stance. Keep the knees bent, hands on the floor. Straighten the legs if you like with a wide stance. Hang here for a couple of breaths, two or three breaths. Just let that long back be nice and long and loose. Don't lock the knees out though. All right guys, bend the knees, walk the feet in towards each other, hands on the ground still if you can. And slowly, slowly with the knees bent, come up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last one to come up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Roll the shoulders up and back. And now forward, shrug them up there. Arm circles back and forward. Guys, let's do a quick quad stretch. Don't let the knees come apart. Let them come together. Well done, guys. I don't know if it's because it's very hot in here today or I just wasn't feeling it. But I feel like I worked really hard today. Even though I didn't do any of the high impact options, you can still get a great workout. Low impact, high intensity. My heart rate can attest to that. Okay, reach up and over. And it is important to listen to your body, guys. On the other side, reach up and over. Some days, you are just gonna feel like you're the king of the world. You've got all the energy in the world and you're gonna be jumping around, having an awesome time. Other days, like I am today, you're gonna feel exhausted doing moves that maybe when you tried them a few days ago didn't exhaust you. That's fine. Don't beat yourself up. Listen to your body like I did today. I scaled it back a little bit. I gave you guys options for pushing it harder if you like. Hopefully you still enjoyed that. And comments or suggestions, leave them down below and I'll see you next time.